easy to get caught up in being a mom that you forget to baby yourself. I know I do. So I want to let you in on a little secret. The best way to baby yourself is with your baby's products. Ooh. Let's get our beauty on, ladies. We are robbing the cradle. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're gonna show you these products and then demonstrate them on our lovely model. Hello, Mary. Hi, Mary. Hey, girl. <laughs> okay, up first, this is always in my bag. It's diaper rash cream. <laughs> okay, not only does it help heal your baby's diaper rash, but it can also help get rid of blemishes just like zit cream. What? Really? Yes. Wow. Yes. Never knew that. So now, Ooh. Okay, Mary, apply a little dab and you'll have gorgeous skin in no time. The magic ingredient in this cream is zinc oxide, and that's what zaps those zits away. Wow. You know what else this cream is good for, what ladies? Else? Sun protection. Shut up. Mm hmm. You just put it on your nose. Oh, yeah. To prevent sunburn. Right? That is cool. Yeah. One. <laughs> Multi purpose. Yeah. Multi purpose. Yes. Okay, that's up next. When me and Lil Shaswani here, it's baby oil. Yes. Typically, it's used to treat some dry skin on our little babies. Mm -hmm. Hey, Shay Shay. <laughs> yes, but it can also remove a bandage without ripping off your hair. Yeah. Yes. Now, Pumpkin, rub a tiny bit around the bandage just to loosen it up from the skin. And watch this. It should come right off, huh? Yep, won't he do it? Ooh. But wait, wait, wait. She has That's more. more. Baby oil can easily loosen a tangled and knotted necklace too. Just mm. put a drop on it and the knot and pry it apart with a little safety pin or body pin, whatever you got. Voila. Yep. That, I need to try that. Okay, last up is baby powder. Now this was invented to obviously go on a baby's bottom to prevent diaper rash. Whoa, mm. that's a lot. Oh, sorry. Okay. Wow. Adrian. I'm clearly not a mother. Okay. At all. Okay. <laughs> but it can also thicken your lashes. Now, I'm serious. This is like a Hollywood trick. Check it out. Our model is dipping her eyeshadow brush into the baby powder and then applying it directly to her lash. Now, you follow that up with some mascara like she's doing right now and another layer of powder and mascara. Mm. So, see, she's just putting it on there like that. Add That's another coat trick. of mascara. And the two coats give you that luscious, feathery look. Oh, but I'm not lying. I actually, I actually learned this from a dope Hollywood yes. makeup artist. Really? And I've used it before. So, no need to buy falsies, ladies. This is going to be a dramatic difference. Check this out. Let's see her before and after. Whoa. Wow. See? That's a major That's difference. Awesome. It is. Now she has some popping lashes. Isn't that amazing? That's mm -hmm. amazing, Adrian. Exactly. That's not it. I have another trick. What's the trick? Now, I know you guys have done this before. I sure have. In between shampoos, you know how your hair can get oily at the root yeah. and all yes. flat That's like the weave and stuff. Yeah, in there too. <laughs> and it also gives a fresher smell as well. It can yes. absorb odor as well. So sprinkle a small amount of baby powder into your hands and then you massage it into the scalp. It actually can give volume and everything and it acts like dry shampoo. Mm -hmm. And that's that. Don't you like that? I love that. Now, even if you don't have a baby, go get yourself some baby powder, okay? <laughs> and that's how you rob the cradle. Now, feel free to baby yourself with these quick and easy tips that'll save you both time and money. I love that.